All right, so it's a little bit later. It's getting close to nine o'clock, I think. We got breakfast going now and a good fire. And we got the breakfast of champions going. We have uh, scrambled eggs with cheese that we're boiling in a bag. And we got a whole bunch of bacon that we're frying up, as well as oatmeal too. So there's the eggs. They're coming together pretty nice. And we just threw the bacon on. We're pretty excited about the bacon. So, <clears throat> had a great breakfast, and now you might be wondering, you might be asking yourself, well, gee, how to cry of the wild and hiking dad go to the bathroom when they're out in the woods, especially in the snow? Very civilized. We go to the bathroom in the cold weather, especially in cold weather, with a toilet hammock. Uh, pretty straightforward works beautifully seriously it's really great same thing we just got tree straps toggler carabiner to whoopie slings and it's a toilet hammock and the best part is a stuff sack holds your toilet paper or any of your toiletries so so that's how hiking dad goes to the bathroom in the woods uh, when there's no latrine or anything like that it's really Really great. Um, I'm gonna use it now. In the snow. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just such a beautiful day that we're on our we're on just like a little hike, and uh, this whole trail is just absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. With all this fresh snow. Absolutely stunning. It's just one view after another. The Cry of the Wild has been out here most of the morning building and making tip-ups nothing more than sticks and some paracord. So while he's doing that we're gonna go hike down along the shoreline here and see if we can find another place that might be a little bit uh, more secluded out of the way uh, for the frozen cheese hang. And we've decided that if we have to wait for him, we're going to starve to death. <laughs> well, we found the spot where we're going to have the frozen cheese hang. Um, coming up January 2014. Um, but we got the lake down here, and the trail from the parking lot comes out to about right there. And you're just going to walk along the east side of the shore here. And... Uh, come right down here and it's actually a real nice little site we found um, let's take a look so we come in 
right here. And if we look out, it's uh, the lake curves around and goes that way. So you see where this little ridge comes down, this little valley here. We're about aligned perfectly with that. And we're just gonna come up this little embankment here a little bit. And we're real close to the water, which is nice. We'll have uh, we'll have ice fishing going on out here, as well as an auger uh, to make a big hole so we can get water really easily without having to melt snow. Uh, but we'll have the fire pit right here. <clears throat> and I mean, you guys can see it's just a really gorgeous spot. Lake right there. Um, it's really nice. So fire pit on this nice level area going down to the water and then a slight hill going up. Let's head up there and uh, there are lots of places to hang. Really gorgeous sight. There's the fire pit from up here. The fire pit will be down there and it's only, you know, 20 feet to the water where we'll have uh, the ice fishing going on so you can watch your tip ups or if we need to go get water. Um, real nice flat area though, so we can all gather around the fireplace, the fireplace, excuse me, the, the fire pit. But uh, there you have it. That's the, uh, that's the hang spot for the 2014 uh, frozen cheese hang. Hope to see a lot of you guys out here. It's gonna be a really, really awesome hang. Lots of activities, lots of stuff to do. Beautiful location. Um, so hopefully that's that's enough to get you guys to come out here. It's gonna be awesome. Hope we have a good turnout. And uh, that's about all I got for you right now. Excited about that hang though. Things are getting a lot out of hand here at the campfire. <laughs> but we got dinner going on. Snipin's got his... Sausage on a stick. Sausage on a stick, roasted in the fire. We got another loaf of bread. It's still out there, we're open. So on. He likes to talk. <laughs> Snipin' on the other hand, though. Much. Nope. <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> But we're just hanging out, PS around the fire again, not a lot of video. And we're probably gonna call it an early night. Cause the hammocks are calling us. At least me and sniping, right sniping? Oh yeah. Yeah, my hammock isn't quite as uh loud. Isn't, isn't quite as loud <laughs> with my fifty degree quilt. Yeah. It's like zero, he's got a fifty degree quilt. He's golden. That's, that's a shout out to you, Adam from Hammock Gear, to get his quilt done quick. I need my quilt. He needs his quilt. I got like four of these hangs. I can't wait. The man <laughs> needs his quilt. Well, it's the last morning here, and uh, sniping. Let's see if I get the camera turned around. Sniping was the first one up. Got the fire going. And if you're wondering what winter camping in the morning is like, it's it's like huddling around the fire, right? That's about the only thing there is to it. Yeah. <laughs> I think the fire needs to be a little bigger. My hands, and my feet are frozen. My boots are frozen solid this morning. And uh, I think pretty much we're just going to build a big fire and warm up, cook some breakfast, 
and wait for uh, Cry of the Wild to get up, which usually takes a while. So we'll check back in with you later. And here comes sniping from his second morning constitutional. How was that? Nice and fun? Oh, freezing like a something. <laughs> Well, we're packed up, about ready to get going. It's been a great weekend, uh, but we're about ready to get out of here. We got the pulk sleds on, and uh, we are out of here.